Bill Haney has been openly criticizing Gervonta Davis, alleging that he avoids facing top competitors in the division and doesn't cater to fans' desires for exciting matchups. Mayweather Promotions, represented by CEO Leonard Ellerby, has finally addressed these accusations. Ellerby responded cleverly by pointing out that two of the fighters Devin Haney wants to fight are individuals whom Gervonta Davis has already faced. Moreover, fans of Devin Haney are keen on witnessing him take on one of the most challenging opponents that Davis has encountered. They believe this matchup would be excellent for Haney, although it wasn't considered suitable for Gervonta Davis. This begs the question, who exactly is this fighter that Devin Haney seeks to face? Fans are eager to witness him go head-to-head -head against specific opponents. How did Leonard Ellerby counter Bill Haney's allegations against Tank? This promises to be an intriguing watch, so stay tuned till the very end. The recent feud involving Bill Haney and Gervonta Tank Davis has captivated fans' attention. Haney didn't hold back, aiming criticism at Tank's promoter, Mayweather Promotions, accusing them of deceiving fans with overpriced and underwhelming fights. After a period of silence, CEO Leonard Ellerby finally addressed the situation, taking a swipe at both Bill Haney and Devin Haney during his recent post-fight interview following the Haney vs. Pro Grays match. Bill Haney was vocally criticized by Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis, alleging that they offer fans low-quality fights at high prices. He contends that Mayweather's era of dominance in boxing has ended and asserts that it's time for the Devin Haney era to take center stage. Bill Haney claims that Mayweather and Davis adhere to an outdated business model that involves overpricing fans for poorly matched fights, a practice he strongly opposes. He questions how one can represent the face of boxing while avoiding fights against desired opponents, boasting about high-priced mismatches. Haney's criticism isn't just aimed at the fights themselves, but extends to Mayweather Promotions' business methods, alleging they underpay fighters and exploit fans by charging exorbitant fees for lackluster bouts. In contrast, Haney champions a more fan-centric and respectful approach to both fighters and audiences. He asserts that every boxer facing Devin receives fair compensation, Proudly showcasing his son's achievements, Bill Haney emphasizes Devin's success in multiple world championships. At 25 years old, Bill Haney believes that Devin has accomplished more than Mayweather or Davis did at the same age, and he openly expresses this belief. Haney's confidence in his son remains steadfast, considering Devin a remarkable talent in the boxing world. He delves into the influence of the media on shaping boxers' narratives, crediting platforms such as YouTube for providing opportunities to boxers like Devin, who might have been overlooked by conventional media outlets controlled by promoters. Haney perceives this evolving media landscape as a more democratic space, enabling boxers to establish their reputations and fan bases independently. Bill Haney envisions a future where boxers like Devin can challenge established norms and redefine the benchmarks for success in boxing. He views his son as the epitome of this new era in boxing, where talent, hard work, and engaging with fans hold greater significance than adhering to traditional promotional strategies. Hence, it's no surprise that he expresses such sentiments, considering the accessibility and openness available in the current landscape. Following Bill Haney's passionate outburst, the Mayweather camp maintained silence for a couple of days. However, they eventually responded, and they didn't hold back. Leonard Ellerby, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, stepped up to represent the camp and delivered a precise retort to Bill's remarks. Ellerby's response to Bill Haney's criticism wasn't just a defense of Mayweather and Davis, it was a strategic counterattack. In a recent interview, Ellerby highlighted what he sees as blatant hypocrisy in Haney's statements. He pointed out that Devin Haney has displayed eagerness to face Ryan Garcia and Mario Barrios, both of whom were previously defeated by Gervonta Davis. This revelation brings forth significant questions regarding the credibility of Haney's criticisms. If Haney is targeting the very opponents he accuses Davis of selectively choosing, doesn't this undermine his own stance? It's noteworthy that two of the opponents Devin intends to fight or negotiate with are individuals previously fought by Gervonta Davis. The irony in Haney's choice of opponents is glaring and impossible to ignore. By expressing interest in facing Garcia and Barrios, 
Haney's team appears to be following the same path they've criticized Davis for taking. This situation presents an undeniable contradiction that can't be easily brushed aside. It hints at a double standard within Haney's camp regarding what qualifies as a formidable opponent. While they accuse Davis of avoiding tough adversaries, they seem to be actively pursuing the same fighters. This contradictory stance by Haney's team holds broader implications within the boxing community, shedding light on potential inconsistencies in their approach to defining worthy opponents. This situation poses a challenge to the credibility of their accusations against Davis and Mayweather in the boxing world, where one's reputation and integrity are as crucial as their physical abilities. Such contradictions can be detrimental, causing fans and analysts to question the motives and strategies employed by a boxer's camp. This questioning can potentially impact public perception and support. Selecting opponents in boxing involves a complex strategy that considers factors such as risk, reward, and career trajectory. While it's typical for boxers to seek matches that will propel their careers forward, criticizing others for pursuing the same can be viewed as hypocritical. In this context, Haney's desire to face Garcia and Barrios might be seen as a strategic move to enhance his profile. However, criticizing Davis for his choice of opponents while actively pursuing those very fighters presents a challenging position to defend. Just to provide some clarity, in a recent post-fight interview, Bill Haney shared his interest in watching his son fight against Ryan Garcia and Mario Barrios, both fighters whom Tank has previously defeated. It's important to note that these fights occurred at 135 pounds, offering Tank a notable advantage. Despite this, Tank boasts an impressive record, and these victories have played a significant role in solidifying Davis's reputation as a formidable opponent inside the ring. The match between Davis and Mario Barrios showcased strategic boxing skills and power. Barrios, recognized for his height and reach advantage, presented a distinctive challenge for Davis during the bout. However, Davis's agility and power proved to be overwhelming during the fight, showcasing his remarkable ability to adapt his style against a larger opponent. This ultimately led to a TKO victory. This win stood out significantly as it highlighted Davis's versatility and capability to dominate in higher weight classes. In another scenario, Ryan Garcia, a rising star in the boxing world, also faced Davis in early 2023. Garcia, known for his speed and charismatic personality, was a highly anticipated opponent for Davis. However, during their encounter, Davis's experience and power emerged as the decisive factors. The fight emphasized Davis's adeptness in handling fast and agile fighters, further solidifying his position as a top-tier boxer. Given these events, Devin Haney's fans have now expressed their interest in seeing him fight both Mario Barrios and Ryan Garcia. This decision holds intrigue for various reasons. Fans desire to witness this fight as they believe it would be beneficial for Devin Haney. Interestingly, while it wasn't deemed a good fight for Gervonta Davis, facing Barrios and Garcia could be interpreted as a strategic move for Haney to enhance his record. By challenging fighters who have already faced a top-tier opponent like Davis, victories against Barrios and Garcia would not only bolster Haney's credentials, but also offer a direct comparison to Davis's performances. This could potentially set the stage for a future showdown between Haney and Davis. From a stylistic perspective, the matchups of Haney against Barrios and Garcia are fascinating. It would test Haney's technical prowess and ring intelligence against Barrios's size and reach, as well as Garcia's speed and agility. These bouts would present Haney with the chance to display his adaptability and skills against varied fighting styles. Successfully overcoming and defeating Barrios and Garcia would significantly elevate Haney's standing in the boxing world. It would showcase his adeptness in handling different types of opponents, solidifying his position as a versatile and formidable boxer. Furthermore, such victories would lend more credibility to any future matches against high-caliber opponents, including a potential blockbuster fight with Gervonta Davis. The boxing community was impressed by Devin Haney's recent performance against Regis Progres and has been discussing potential future fights, such as Haney vs. Ryan Garcia.
Adrian Broner in particular commented on the Devin Haney vs. Regis Progray fight, praising Haney's remarkable performance. He acknowledged Haney's skill, noting that Haney performed exactly as anticipated by outboxing Prograys and delivering an impressive show. Broner, a seasoned boxer, recognizing Haney's abilities, adds significant weight to Haney's victory, emphasizing his technical prowess in the ring. It was a shutout, man. Dion did good, man. You know, um, Dion is good, you know, um, you know, he did exactly what I told everybody he was going to do, outbox him, Broner remarked about Haney's performance. The conversation then shifted to Broner's own career, with inquiries about his potential return to the ring. Broner hinted at a potential matchup with Ryan Garcia, a fight that would undeniably attract considerable attention in the boxing community. His intriguing comments about Garcia suggest that he views a fight with Garcia as a promising opportunity, offering insight into Broner's perspective on future fights. The prospect of a match involving Ryan Garcia is particularly intriguing, given Garcia's escalating prominence in the sport. Known for his speed and charismatic persona, Garcia symbolizes a new generation of boxers. A potential matchup between Broner and Garcia wouldn't just be a collision of styles, but also a convergence of different boxing eras. Throughout the interview, Broner underscored his eagerness to make a comeback to the ring. He indicated that he's been training diligently and is ready for whatever lies ahead, demonstrating a serious approach to his potential return. While Broner didn't delve into specifics, his mention of having plans in the works hints that fans can anticipate an announcement regarding his next fight in the near future. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.